Situated at the heart of Scotland's elegant and historic capital city, the Edinburgh International Conference Centre hosted the 11th edition of Autism Europe's International Congress, which this year carried the motto, Happy, Healthy and Empowered. From the 16th to the 18th of September, the Congress welcomed over 1,700 delegates from more than 60 countries. Self-advocates, parents, professionals, carers and other interested parties came together to share advances in practical and scientific knowledge about autism. I'm absolutely overwhelmed by the interest from delegates. So many people attending and the atmosphere has just been fantastic. Um, having a really great time and uh, yeah, we wish luck for the 2019 Congress. This edition focused on the most recent developments in the field of autism, including diagnosis, early intervention, treatments, education, support, employment, rights and policies. The Congress also covered the evolution of knowledge, as well as providing insight into future developments and technologies for those on the autism spectrum. I'm delighted to be at the Autism Europe International Congress on Autism. This Congress affords us an opportunity as scholars, family members, care providers, uh, to discuss important issues that are so pressing in the field of autism. It allows us to come together and uh, acknowledge each other's expertise and learn from each other, and what a wonderful conference. Uh, this is my first Autism Europe conference, um, and as a newbie here, as a professional, but also as a person with a diagnosis, uh, I found it really interesting so far. The interesting thing is that there's more participation in this conference of people with autism. So rather than talking about, it is more towards talking with. Over 600 abstracts were submitted with the aim of exploring a broad range of perspectives, both theoretical and practical. During the selection process, value was placed on robust and well-evidenced knowledge, including academic research, as well as professional, personal and collective experience within the three topic areas. A total of 377 posters were selected to be exhibited during the Congress. I've had a really enjoyable time at this international conference. It's been really interesting to see what other countries are doing, watching and looking at the posters and listening to the oral poster presentations and having opportunities to actually mix and meet other people from uh, other countries and seeing what they are doing in their projects and having opportunities to, to see exciting speakers. So thank you very much for all your organization and uh, I hope to see you again in three years time. Delegates attending the Congress also had the opportunity to walk around an exhibition area with more than 50 stands, giving them the chance to network, discuss their areas of interest or share information on their own work in the field of autism. The Congress was good, it had a lot of interesting uh, topics, uh, if I was to miss something it would probably be more towards the lower functioning part of uh, the spectrum. Um, found a lot of very interesting things during, in, the, in this area, in the uh, uh, stands, and there were some very interesting posters also. So. All in all, I thought it was a very good conference. The National Autistic Society, organizer of the Congress in partnership with Autism Europe, gave attendees the opportunity to put themselves in the shoes of a child with autism experiencing sensory overload as part of its campaign, Too Much Information, thanks to a virtual reality experience. What we have here is a virtual reality headset to try um, and keep in the shoes of a boy who has autism in the shop center. Um, and you get to feel what sensory overload might feel like. So we'll put this headset on. Okay, and here's your headphones. And we'll start with you. If you'd like to hold on to this line as well. Look around when you see the screen. As in previous Congresses, Autism Europe member Autismo Burgos held the International Art Exhibition Illustrautismo, showcasing artwork created by people on the autism spectrum. Um, it's a pleasure to be at yet another Autism Europe Congress. My first Congress was in Budapest three years ago, but 
Uh, here in Edinburgh we have the pleasure as a full member of Autism Europe also to network with these, all these lovely people uh, from all around the world. Um, also it is uh, an honor to be a part of a consortium that has uh, the Enigma project running funded by European Commission. Uh, we submitted a poster and had a presentation and had a chance to talk to many many people that were uh, very interested about the project that is about a little humanoid robot helping uh, children with autism in their social skills. So yeah, we're looking, looking forward to yet another one. After three intense but fruitful days, the venue for the next Congress was officially announced. The National Autistic Society handed the baton over to Autisme France, who will host Autism Europe's 12th International Congress in Paris in 2019. It's been a fabulous few days. I hope you found it as, as useful as I have. Um, the, the presentations from our big speakers through to posters and, and everyone in between have been really inspirational and, and challenging. So thank you everyone who has contributed. I hope um, together we will be able to change the future of all the persons without it all over the world. So see you in five.